Right, I'm entering Unhallowed Ground. This is um, St Michael's Abbey, Farnborough. And I just wanted to uh, film it and give some testimony. Uh, hopefully I've got enough battery left on the camera. It's very bumpy. It's like quite a long drive. Right, so what I'll do, I'll pause it right at the top of the hill. Got a lot of nice chestnuts here. Ah, well, I just met a nice lady, gave her a gospel track. And she's telling me that the stone buildings were actually built first by Eugenie, the Emp uh, Napoleon III's wife, and she, he died and she built him a sarcophagus. But I, I can't access that today. And I think that was Napoleon's, the Emperor's uh, uncle. I thought it was the Napoleon, but there you go. Anyway, this is the back and I'm going to film the Abbey at the front and I'll give my testimony. It's a bit of a grim building, a gargoyle, gargoyles on it. And it's raining. And that was built first, apparently, the brick. You wouldn't have thought that, but it was in the 1800s. Benedictine monks. I know nothing about the Benedictines, so I have to do a bit of research. And they do a tour on the Saturday, so I can see the uh, sarcophagus if I really want to. Anyway, this is the side and the back. This is um, St Michael's Abbey. Um, I don't think Michael, St Michael would be very happy, but uh, this is the Abbey. my testimony as a young Christian, just as a, a warning to, about going into these buildings when there's a mass on. Um, now I was only a babe and I got hooked into the Mormon cult. I'd, I'd, I'd received the Holy Spirit and I hadn't really studied the word enough to come to the knowledge that I was saved. No, I was born again, but, but my spirit knew I was born again. Because the Lord told me, but I didn't have it confirmed in the Word. And I was invited to come, people wanted to come here at Christmas because it was romantic and all, all this. You know, itchy ears. And I reluctantly said, OK, I'll come along. And uh, there was a mass on with the incense and everything. We went through that. 
that door and then I sat down at the back and my heart sunk as I watched all the all the parishioners go down to the front, take the wafer. I didn't I didn't partake of it. And I had to I was so vexed. It was like my heart hit the bottom of the floor. And I really struggled to get myself up and out the door as quickly as I could. And I wondered about that and thought what you know, and I was quite naive about religion, but the Holy Spirit had told me to avoid organised religion and I hadn't really appreciated the warning until I went into one of these buildings. So, if you're a new believer, um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't go in these buildings, but I personally wouldn't wouldn't go in there if I was you. I, it, my advice would be to stay, stay well away, because it, it, for me, it vexed the Holy Spirit. I don't know what, what, what it is about this place and what goes on here, I don't know. But um, I felt it was like a bloodbath. I don't know what my spirit, the Holy Spirit, told me, but it was um, get out as quickly as possible. Um, so that's my testimony of uh, Roman Catholicism and the Benedictines. They're actually read. Uh, I was reading an article. They're actually run by Jesuits. Anyway, I've had um, a good few witnesses today. Uh, just met a French lady, I've forgotten her name, uh, Cecilia. And I gave her my testimony and uh, shared about my brother's ex-Catholic for Christ, gave her a, um, a gospel track, so please pray for Amelia, Cecilia. And also an old friend of my, well, of my dad, that it turned out that he knew my dad and my mum's my family. So I gave him a gospel tract, his name's Cato. Please pray for Cato and his wife, Lynn. And also, would you put, brothers and sisters, would you please pray, please pray for my um, neighbour, Sarah, and her husband. Uh, um, she's going through a hard time with her, her dad's got, um, like, dementia and he's been sectioned. And it smells a bit untoward that they're keeping him in there and they told him that he, he's not coming out. And the, the daughter, Sarah, is my neighbour. She's very, she's all over the place. So would you please pay for Sarah that, uh, you know, she can find comfort. And I shared her gospel track with Sarah. So I pray that she puts her faith and trust in the Lord and he will help her, help her even more, help her resolve the uh, concern for her father being kept in a, um, a secure, well, uh, uh, an old people's home with psychiatrists uh, making the decisions. And the old man is very um, compass mentis and he's quite, um, it, it sounds to me he's getting quite upset, but I'm not a med medical expert so I don't know, but I, I just, just ask people if they pray for Sarah and David, that's her husband, and her dad, be very grateful. And, um, a lady, a lady up my shop as well, I gave her a gospel track, so I pray she she, she will look up um, ex-Catholics for Christ and she will, her and her husband, her husband's just been saved, so I pray that um, she will have a look and research and look at the the teachings and the uh, anything that grabs her, appeals to her interest that she can uh, search and discover. So please pay for Sharon and Ken. And I'm just going to go around the side of the abbey and get another view. Right, oh, it's raining, so... Oh, look at this. It's demonic. I don't know if that's to scare evil. Why would you scare evil off with evil? I think that was the reason for these. Quite paganistic, these gargoyles. Let's get a close up. Well, my camera's going to short out. <laughs> there we have it. Get under cover.
Run for the hills. Run and lock the door behind you. How is that a holy building? All these demons bursting out, stuck in the walls. Oh. I don't like this place, I'm, I'm going to get out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> And there she is. St. Michael's Abbey. St. Michael the Archangel. I think he's referred to as the Archangel. I don't think he'd be very happy about this place. And apparently Princess Eugenie was uh, in exile from Spain and her husband Napoleon settled down in, in England and she became friends with uh, Queen Victoria. And there's a lovely house which is uh, Hawley Hill, which is a girls' school now, Catholic girls' school I believe. And uh, in the grounds it's got these sarsen stones and uh, pagan, like a pagan, I think at one time it was a pagan circle. Anyway, I'm going to close now because I'm going to get soaked. My camera's going to get fried. And that's uh, Farmer Abbey. Right, that's that. So I'm going to close now and uh, pray the Lord will bless this video and the, the tracks, gospel tracks are handed out and those uh, souls, I pray they'll be lifted and guided and drawn unto the Lord to come to faith in Christ alone and uh, be born again and receive the Holy Spirit and the joy and peace that brings in your life. Um, I don't know if it's possible that these people have, have been safe, but um, it's important to make sure, I believe, and offer the gospel to, in, just in case these people aren't. I don't see how you can be born again. Um, believing in this system but, it, but that doesn't stop you believing in Jesus and becoming saved and then just being stunted by by um, going to these places I really don't know the Lord looks upon the heart so I pray for these people that they will grow in if they are saved they will they will grow in their um, relationship and get out of these, this horrible system this abomination and on the close there and uh, pray for my brothers and sisters. I pray that they are um, having a blessed day and that uh, they are filled with the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to wish you wish you all the best. And Maranatha, in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.